morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Jessie if you're new here sorry booby dress anyway every day yeah I'll make you one I am vacuuming this morning it's a Wednesday morning it's a work day for me normally Ben has Ivy until about now but he's training his mom this morning instead of yesterday so I just vacuumed upstairs really quick because this is where the dogs are and there's always stuff but I got a new vacuum so I thought it's not sponsored to <laughs> buy it myself. It's from Amazon and it's really light, which is really nice. We used to have a Dyson. We got it for our wedding. It's like six or seven years ago. And it just like has not worked very well for a really long time. I will put it down just one minute. Sorry, Dyson talks so early in the morning. It just like hasn't worked. And like we've tried to fix it multiple times. It like worked fine but here we're afraid of it scratching the floors because the floors are natural like they're real hardwood Not our landlord like was very worried about us scratching the floor so anyways i bought this it was like 150 dollars, i think which for a vacuum is not terrible it works well so far i don't know if it'll last forever that is what i got i'll link it down below if any of y'all are looking for a new vacuum i, I just did that it looks like neither been nor I cleaned the kitchen. I need to make her a PPJ. I did. Also, this child likes crust, so we're not gonna fight that, you know? Do you want a yellow plate? Do you want a yellow plate this morning? So normally what I do is I, I like pick off the crust just because we were expecting her not to like it, but then she'll like chew on the crust <laughs> while I'm making a PBJ. I don't know if I want, do I want a PBJ this morning? Yeah. yeah. It's Wednesday. I got the laundry going in the background. Just starting a typical work day for me. We actually, Ben and I slept on the couch again last night because it was like so cool out. Our bedroom is on the other, like the opposite side of the house. So it doesn't get the like, just wasn't getting the breeze. Okay. So we slept on the couch. Plus, to be honest, our couch is a very comfortable. Sometimes I think I like it better than the mattress. <laughs> yeah, so we slept on that couch last night, which was nice. I'm not sleeping super well. I just wake up a lot whenever I'm pregnant. I don't know, it happens, it happened with Ivy too. And then third trimester hits and you're uncomfortable. So I don't really sleep most of my pregnancies. Ivy's grandma will be coming this morning. I'll be going to work. So, well, I'll be going to a coffee shop to work. Yesterday, I'll show you throughout the day today, but I made a lasagna soup. No, thank you. You can put it on the plate. Yesterday, I made a, a bunch of potatoes with ivy. I think I put the short on YouTube, so I can link it if you're interested. And then I made crock pot lasagna soup, which was pretty good. I also made these pumpkin chocolate chip cookies last night. I was dairy-free. I was just feeling a homemaker vibes, apparently. But it looks like... Nobody cleaned the kitchen, AKA I did not clean the kitchen because that's my job. So I need to do that. I need to make us some chicken sausage. Let's get going. I did the dishes literally four times yesterday because we have a lot of dishes that don't fit in the dishwasher or like pans and stuff that can't go in the dishwasher because we have like no space on the counter. I feel like I have to be doing dishes so that the kitchen isn't full of dishes, but also just look, this is all like cookie crumbs. Here's my breakfast, by the way, if you're curious, chicken sausage, potatoes, a little bit of barbecue sauce and peanut butter and some apple. 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 I'm feeling very overstimulated by this one this morning, but she barely ate her breakfast. I'm still eating mine because I needed to clean this kitchen. <sighs> yeah. 
Dude, it is beautiful out today. It's like, there's like not a cloud in the sky. It's currently like 65-ish, 70. So nice. I do think it's supposed to get up to 75 today, but I mean, that's still beautiful. Yesterday it rained all day, but yeah, it was just, well, okay. I finished my blogs. I only had two today and I had done all the research for them on Monday. So I just had to write them. My client can only give me two blogs right now. It gives me more time. <laughs> like I don't have to spend as much time writing during the week, which is like fine. Now I'm gonna head back home, which I'm actually much closer to this coffee shop now that I live over here. So I've been going to this one at the Arboretum versus in, in Schaumburg. So that's been nice because it's just like more chill over here and it doesn't take me as long to get home, which is great. I need to make a dentist appointment because I've been having a lot of pain in one of my teeth. I think there's like a nerve exposed and my gums, which I know pregnancy can like really affect your tooth health. I didn't have many issues with Ivy besides like a few tongue issues randomly, but I don't know. I just feel not great. So I need to go to the dentist, even though that's like the literal last thing I would, I want to do is go to the dentist. Yesterday I made a list of like all the stuff that I still need for the shower to get at like Costco, the grocery store, what I need to set up, that kind of stuff. So that should be good. Tomorrow we're getting our car detailed, which is a major expense that I wasn't anticipating, but I, we have to get it detailed because it's just like not, we just, we can't clean it. And we were told because there was mold found in the car as well that we should have it professionally cleaned. So that's going to be a big expense. And like basically the whole morning I won't have access to the car, but I'm very grateful that we're going to be doing that so I won't have time to go to the grocery store or anything tomorrow because he probably won't be done till like sometime during Ivy's nap and if you live anywhere near Schaumburg or anything like that like I'm not going anywhere in the afternoon are you kidding me I'm gonna go when everybody's at work <laughs> during and like the morning like worst case scenario if I can't find like enough food or whatever I'll just have to order portillos or something like that which would be an insane expense and I really don't want to do that especially because I've already put a lot of money into this sprinkle I don't even know if anybody's gonna like fully appreciate <laughs> the work that I put into it I will appreciate it Ben will appreciate it Ivy will appreciate it so like that's fine and it's something I want to do for me so I'm not like upset about it but I also don't want to spend like a ton of money my sister-in-law is making a charcuterie board and she's like amazing at it I will try to get video this weekend of it and I am going to get like veggies dip because it's like a farmer's market themed I'm gonna get like veggies dip maybe like chips and salsa some fruit I think my sister is bringing a pasta salad Ben might make a potato salad and then I think I'm just gonna get oh my sister's bringing a dessert too I think I might just get like pre-made sandwiches from like Costco or something on Friday and just put them out eating some of my lasagna soup the noodles are gluten-free so they kind of broke apart but honestly I like it better that way <laughs> okay everyone back in the car it's 201 I'm headed to my OB appointment. I don't know if I explained this in my last vlog, but I had an MFM ooh, what is this? appointment on Monday. So that's maternal fetal medicine. If you've never had that, I thought it was just normal. <laughs> it's not. It's like the high risk doctor. I had to go last time because of a couple of reasons. I mean, they told me it was because of Hashimoto's, but they also complained about my weight. I had COVID at one point. So anyway, they they wanna do like your 20 week scan at MFM because their uh, like techs I think are just trained to do like even more in depth of an anatomy scan. So with Hashimoto's you can have smaller babies 
if your thyroid isn't you know managed well we all know that ivy was not small and this one is not projecting to be small either so i don't think that's an issue but they still check it however they want me to go back in six weeks and i'm like so for this pregnancy they have me going because i have hashimoto's and because i'm over 35 and apparently everybody over 35 is considered high risk which i just think is stupid but that's just my opinion i understand like doing extra checks and stuff but I don't really want to be going to get a, like an anatomy scan every six weeks. That's just, that's a lot of scans. I understand some people would like love that. And I understand like it's a chance to get to see baby and that's great. But I just don't think that unnecessary scans are necessary. So anyways, I just like don't like want to do unnecessary scans. A, because of time, like I have a toddler so every time I go to these scans, I can't bring her. So like I have to either find childcare or which isn't like a terrible thing. It's just like annoying. I understand that I'm privileged in the fact that I get like free childcare. I'm scheduled for another scan in like five weeks. I also did not like the MFM doctor. He was just like, he had zero bedside manner. <laughs> And like, he's just like your typical doctor, right? Like not my fave, not my fave guy ever. So a whole big long story to say, the reason that I'm going back today and it's Wednesday is because now I'm going to see my actual OBGYN. So last time, I don't think I had to do this when I lived in Raleigh. I think that my 20 week scan just like counted as my 20 week appointment. Maybe it didn't. I don't remember because I traveled back to the Midwest around 20 weeks, so I don't remember. I think it'll be nice to go today because A, I can ask them if I am going to have to be getting these scans every six weeks for the whole pregnancy, and if so, why, and is that necessary? I understand they do want to do some scans for me, or at least one, toward the end of my pregnancy because basically they told me with Ivy even though I went through induction, labor, all that stuff, that I most likely would have ended up in emergency C-section anyway, based on how big she is and how small my pelvis is. So if this baby is measuring to be just as big and or bigger, they will probably recommend me going in for a, a like recurrent C-section, like a, a scheduled C-section versus trying for a VBAC which I'm still undecided on what I want to do because I have like so much trauma around <laughs> birth and what happened last time that I might just do a scheduled C-section in general. So I understand like the scans that they might need to do like closer to birth, but I'm like, I don't want to go every six weeks until then, you know, or like every four weeks. That just seems like a lot. Anyways, I'm very blabby right now. This is supposed to be a very quick appointment. However, all of my quick appointments here have been well over an hour just based on like waiting. So Ben and I were talking about this. I know I had like a bad experience for labor, especially with the one particular doctor, but my overall experience was better in Raleigh. I liked the hospital better. I liked the going to the office better because it was just like more chill. You never had to wait a super long time. I just live in a busy area now and <laughs> it, it just is what it is. Like yesterday, it took us forever to find parking at the hospital because that's where the MFM appointment was and it, you know, it's just stuff like that that are, is like 100% not a big deal, but I do miss Raleigh for like the ease of some of that stuff. Unfortunately, I don't live in Raleigh right now, so I have to go with what I have. For the most part, I think it's just gonna be checking the heartbeat and going over anything from MFM, although they told me everything was fine at MFM yesterday, so, or Monday. Headed home. My appointment was not really helpful, to be honest. She said that she didn't have my results from MFM yet, which is weird to me because, like, I could see the results from MFM on Monday in my account. So, like, why can't couldn't she see it? Anyway, whatever. Took heartbeat. It was a little bit 
lower than on Monday, but she said that that's normal. Measured, everything's measuring fine. So basically she couldn't really answer any of my questions because my question was like, like why do I have to go every six weeks? She couldn't really answer that. So she, she basically couldn't answer anything or give me any more information. So anyway, it was just a normal appointment. It just took forever. Ben has is working obviously, but he's watching Ivy right now because Ben's mom was supposed to stay till 3.30, but then she told us today that she couldn't, but I like already had the appointment, so I had to go. <laughs> so he had to watch her. I mean, I think Ivy literally just woke up from her nap, so he hasn't really had to do anything besides wake her up in the last 10 minutes. I'm gonna go get her, hang out with her. I haven't really hung out with her since this morning. We have swimming lessons today at five, so we'll leave for that around, I don't know, 4.45, 4. 4 40, something like that. Ben always wants me to go with, so with swim lessons, if you care, the one that we go to at least, the parent has to go in the pool and just like not there with my body at this point. So Ben does it with her and that's fine because they get a little bit of like time together. She loved swimming lessons. I don't know if she doesn't like her new instructor because she's moved up a level or if they're just doing more things that are a little bit scarier to her but she's kind of not had a great time the last two times she was okay last time I think the time before that she also didn't feel well so that definitely didn't help she didn't get a nap in that day hopefully that she does well today the other thing is the room is like so humid that I can't even sit out there there's like a little glass area <laughs> that's like air conditioned so I can like kind of see the pool that she's in, but Ben just like, I don't know, he just like wants me to go with. So I'll probably, or I will go with for that. So I got to get her little bag packed with like her clothes, her swim diaper and towels, all that kind of stuff -aroon. I'm going to order Thai food for dinner for myself tonight because I have nothing prepped with a protein and that might not sound like a big deal and to be honest it wouldn't have been a big deal to me before but now if I don't eat a protein with every meal I'm starving like literally starving like an hour or two later so <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I just want to get like a Penang curry with like chicken and then that'll give me like at least two or three meals over the next couple days. Cause I made lasagna soup, but quite honestly, I'm annoying and like, I'm not gonna eat the same thing twice in one day. I just don't want to, I ate it for lunch. I don't want to eat it for dinner. The other option is I have like nachos with like refried beans, which has a little bit of protein in it and it's free. And that's probably the option I should do, but to like Thai food sounds really good but like my budget says that I shouldn't buy Thai food. You know, we all know. You all who watch my budgeting videos are probably yelling at me right now and are like, Jesse, just eat the effing nachos. But this is the problem is I like talk myself into things because A, I'm pregnant, <laughs> so I'm hungry and I have like cravings and it sounds dumb, And it, but unless you've like been pregnant before, the hunger is different, especially this one. Honestly, my pregnancy with Ivy, I was not that hungry. This pregnancy, like, I'm like ravenous. Like, I, not all the time, but when I'm hungry, I'm like hungry, you know? Tap. What? Oh, you want the top. Back with this little gremlin. Hi, BB. <laughs> you got a kitty on your shirt? Yeah. She just woke up from a late nap, so I'm giving her just a little snack right now. She's had like two PBJs, so I don't want to give her another one. Anything with like peanut butter or whatever. I made these cookies yesterday though. They're pretty good for like gluten-free, dairy-free cookies. They're pumpkin chocolate chip. They're not like the best cookies, but they're not bad. Like we will happily eat them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do the rest of the day? Are we going to play? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Oh. <laughs> there they are. I literally was like, where are the dogs? Did somebody leave them outside? I'm just going to put away the dishes from this morning and get along with my day. Back to 
mom time. Well, you'll be proud to know that I did eat nachos at home. However, I was right and I ate it like a half an hour ago and I'm already hungry. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm, I've got a load of laundry running with all this stuff from the pool from Ivy's swim class because it's full of chlorine. Did the dishes wipe down the counters? These counters, honestly, <laughs> I'm like, how do you clean these well? I'm like, I don't know, My our other counters at both of our last, actually every place we've lived in pretty much have been like some sort of granite or that type of material. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine. And this is more of just like, I don't know, like fake granite. Anyways, it, it like hides the mess well, which is good, except when you like run your hand over it and it's like gritty. And I'm like, I literally just washed this. I don't understand how it's so dirty. The fam's getting ready to come back in. Finn just came up. They're all outside and Ivy needs a bath. She did swim class tonight. She did not have a great time. She had a pure meltdown, but that's okay.